Hi, one hour smart home here, and today we're reviewing the Simply Safe panic button. So, if you have a Simply Safe security system or Simply Safe alarm system, you can add what's called a Simply Safe panic button to the system. And what this does is that once you press this, the alarm will go off. So, not only will you have that loud sound of the alarm, but if you are paying for professional monitoring, it will also alert the alarm center and they will call to check in on you. So I see the Simply Safe panic button device in two ways. You could look at this as a panic button that you could place next to your bedside and for whatever reason, if you hear something or you're in some kind of emergency, you could press this panic button and it's gonna set that alarm off and notify anyone in the area what's happening. You're also going to get a call from the professional alarm monitoring center if you've paid for that plan to check and make sure everything's okay. Now, another use I see for the panic button is that maybe you have somebody in your family that has a Simply Safe system and you're worried about them falling and maybe not being able to get up or notify someone. If they put this in their pocket or you had some of these in several different areas, like maybe a bathroom low on the floor so that somebody could reach them, then that could offer an opportunity to signal people if there was an emergency. So to set up the panic button, all you do is pull out a tab and set it up on the keypad. Now, what is nice is that there is a sticky tab on the back of the panic button so you can peel and stick this somewhere or you could just put it in a pocket or set it in a drawer next to your bedside. Now to activate the panic button, we're gonna show you here, so I recommend you turn down the volume. All you do is hold down the button for a moment and the alarm will go off. And if you have professional monitoring, then the alarm response center is going to call you. So in my experience, the panic button has been easy to use. And I think if you have a Simply Safe system, that this is a worthwhile investment. Now, another alternative to the Simply Safe panic button is the Simply Safe key fob. And with the Simply Safe key fob, you can arm the system in home mode or away mode or turn off the system. And it fits right on a nice keychain size remote. So you can take this with you to easily arm or disarm the system when you leave your house. But why it relates to the panic button is that it also has a panic button built into the top here. And if you hold this down for just a moment, it will set off the Simply Safe alarm, just like the Simply Safe panic button. So either one of these offers you an option for a panic button. I think if you're planning on getting a panic button or a Simply Safe keychain remote and using it as a panic button, it's a good idea to keep it in one place so that if you have a reason to use it, you're going to be able to have it easily accessible so that you can press that panic button when you need it. And this is also small enough and thin enough that this could go in a pocket as well. So overall, in my testing of the Simply Safe panic button and the Simply Safe key fob, both of these devices worked flawless for me and were easy to set up. In my home, I never had any areas where I was outside the range of the base station with the panic button, so it worked everywhere that I placed it. Now, if you are planning installing these in a larger home, it's probably a good idea to test out the panic button in the furthest distance away that you are from the Simply Safe base station. However, I didn't have any distance limitation issues with the panic button, and I think that will be the case for most people. So thank you for watching this video. We've got links to the Simply Safe panic button and Simply Safe key fob below. If you want to support us, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below. Thank you.